What's up guys? It's your girl Sophina the Diva back here again. You know how it is. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm a punk rocker today. So as you can see by the title, you know what we talking about today. A lot of the time, being a gymnast, being a non-gymnast, I did a video about me having questions because I'm retired. So I did that video, if you wanna check it out, have any questions about me being a retired gymnast, go ahead, check that out, super cool, super fun. But today, we're gonna talk about the questions that gymnasts get from non-gymnasts. Actually, from people that do other sports, from people that don't do sports at all, from school people, from grown-ups, why we call them grown ups? I'm a grown up. <laughs> I'm weird. But I feel like there's a lot of these questions that always get answered. And I don't know. Some gymnasts might get annoyed with getting some of these questions all the time, and some gymnasts might not. I find some of these questions really funny that I get a lot, that I got a lot, that I still do get a lot in general. So comment below if you hear any of these questions, or if you have any more questions that you get as a gymnast or as a non gymnast too. Like maybe you get a question about your sport, something, something. But yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so, um, I do have a question. My first question is, are you gonna go to the Olympics? Okay, so, to answer your first question, no, I'm not going to the Olympics. Gymnastics is set up very differently. For the most part, don't quote me on this, but gymnasts typically go to Olympics in, in their younger days and or go to college. There's been some gymnasts that go to Olympics and now are in college. But for the most part, after college, you retire. Uh, kind of, for the most part. So that kind of answers your question. I'm not going to the Olympics, uh, but I I mean, I guess you never know. Maybe I'll go back into gymnastics again later in the future, but no, for now. Okay, my second question is, are you flexible? Yes, I'm very flexible. Not all gymnasts are flexible. There's some that are more powerhouses and there are some that are really flexible. I like to say I'm kind of in the middle. My third question is, um, can you do the splits? Yes, I can do the splits. Next question is, so you said you're a gymnast and stuff, right? So can you flip? <laughs> yes, I can do a flip. I can do a backflip. Like, can you do a backflip, like, right now? Yes, I can do it right here if I really wanted to. Um, I do have a question. So your hands are, like, really rough. Like, why are your hands so rough? Like, can you just put some lotion on and, like, make them soft again or something? Let me feel your hands. Those are rough. Um, well, honestly, when I was younger, my rough hands were kind of an insecurity because uh, sometimes people wouldn't want to hold my hand when crossing the street. You know when you're younger and you have to cross the street and hold people's hands? Sometimes people wouldn't want to hold my hands because they were rough or dry. And that's just kind of something that gymnasts go through because we use so much chalk. Therefore, our hands are really dry and we, we go around the bars and stuff like that. So we kind of need our calluses for all of the events, really. Like, even, like, my feet calluses, I need that for beam. Um, but now, I mean, my hands aren't too bad, but that's why they're so rough. Um, another question. Why are you so short? Why am I so short? There's many factors that go into that. Uh, there's a lot of myths that go into that as well, but one, genetically. I am short genetically because my mom isn't that tall, and some parts of my other family aren't tall, so I kind of inherited the short gene. And another reason is people say that coffee stunts growth, and I drank a lot of coffee when I was younger, and I still drink coffee now, so that could be a factor. Did gymnastics make you short? Gymnastics does stunt your growth, because of all the pounding and the jumping around and all that stuff so it kind of pounds that I had a lot of growing pains when I was younger I had Seavers which is like a really bad growing pain in your heels I also had Oshkin slaughter which is really bad that one was super painful um, in my knee and like on my knee I have a bump and it was really big when I was younger and the doctors told me that as I get older the bump will like get smaller so it's still there and quite big but it is smaller than it was before very painful <laughs> but that's why I'm short. Do you have to be short to do gymnastics? You don't technically have to be short to do gymnastics. It definitely is more, I want to say it's better to be short doing gymnastics, <laughs> but it's definitely a benefit to be short to do gymnastics because in gymnastics you have to carry around your own body weight. So if you're a lot taller, that's more to condense 
to carry around. And another thing is when you are on bars especially, I know I had a, a few friends that were really tall in gymnastics and they hit the floor so they have to raise the bar really high and sometimes they still would hit the floor so they have to flex their feet at the bottom. And another thing is in between the bars, they're, they would hit the low bar. So in general, it's a little bit more of a benefit to be shorter in gymnastics. That's why most of the gymnasts that you see on TV, in college, Olympics, are short. You look really tall for a gymnast. I look tall for a gymnast. I'm not tall for a gymnast. I'm quite, I'm average height for a gymnast. A lot of times, there's a lot of gymnasts that are really short and way shorter than me, maybe in their, their four foot range, like 4'10", 4'9", um, and stuff like that. But I would say I'm average height. I'm 5'1", 5'2", on a good day. I wouldn't even say a good day because I really like being short. But I'm between like 5'1", and 5'2". That's quite average height for a gymnast. There's a lot of other gymnasts that are like 5'4", 5'3", 5'5". So I'm not tall for a gymnast. I'm average height for a gymnast. Other question that I have. So, um, you are really strong, right? So that means that you can lift really heavy weights. So, so how much can you bet? Um, this is one question that I used to get annoyed about all the time, but I don't anymore. I, I don't bench anything. I do lift weights occasionally because in gymnastics you kind of want to like do that, but most of our conditioning was body weight conditioning. So we only use our body weight to conditioning. So technically I don't really bench anything. I've never even tried to like see what my max bench is. I guess I could try that one day and then I could let you know. <laughs> So we talked about you being flexible and you also said that you can do the splits. Um, so can you touch your toes? Cause I can touch my toes. So then that means that you should be able to touch your toes. Right, we did talk about flexibility and splits. So yes, I can touch my toes. <laughs> no, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Um, so can you do a toe touch then? Can I do a toe touch? So we don't call them toe touches in gymnastics. That's what cheerleaders call their straddle jumps, but we call them straddle jumps. Um, but yes, I can do a straddle jump. <laughs> I do have a question. Um, so why do you guys wear bathing suits to practice and meet and stuff? So um, we don't wear bathing suits to practice. They're called leotards. They kind of look a little similar to a one-piece bathing suit, but it's not. One piece bathing suits have a different type of material than a leotard and a lot of the times our leotards are different textures and fillings like we have velvet ones and we have most of them like especially competition ones we are sparkly so you can't wear those into the pool or else those would get damaged so they're not bathing suits. Is it weird or like uncomfortable to have to wear your bathing suit to practice and to and to competitions and stuff? Okay, and once again, they're not bathing suits. With the leotard, yes. To me, at least, wearing them for a long periods of time gets uncomfortable. But for the most part, leotards are fine. You know, they're cool. I like them, especially the sparkly ones. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications and hit that subscribe button. I think in the future, in the very, very near future, I'm gonna start doing some shout outs. So let's get this going. Please comment below what your thoughts on this video is, what questions that you have gotten. I wanna see, like maybe we're on the same page, you know? These questions to me are funny uh, sometimes, and sometimes they're redundant, and sometimes it's just like, I kinda wanna answer this question for you, you know, it makes me feel cool. I feel like gymnastics is a very cool sport. Like, not everybody can do it. It's a sport that you definitely have to train for, a sport that you have to take a lot of time to kinda get. Also a sport that's not technically based off of a team because you do it on your own, your own score, and then that kind of equivalates to a team if you do have a team. But yeah, gymnastics is just a different sport and it's really funny and cool when you get different questions from people that don't know too much about gymnastics and then you can kind of enlighten them about certain questions and whatnot, you know? So it's really cool. But make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sophina the Diva and on Twitter at Sophina underscore the Jesus. I'll talk to you guys next time.